order, I'd like to do our swearing in. And if you would, uh, I have two council members, if you would, that just were re-elected in the fall, if you would, come forward. I am Snavy. I am Snavy. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will well and truly perform. That I will well and truly perform. The duties of council member. The duties of council member. Of the city of Jasper. Of the city of Jasper. That I will support. That I will support. And defend the charter. And defend the charter. Thereof. Thereof. As well as the Constitution. As well as the Constitution. And laws of the state of Georgia. And laws of the state of Georgia. And of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you so much. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Oath of office of council member. I, Dr. Folsom C. Proctor III, uh, Dr. Folsom C. Proctor III, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will well and truly, that I will and truly perform the duties of council member, perform the duties of council member of the city of Jasper, of the city of Jasper, and that I will support, and that I will support and defend the charter thereof, and defend the charter thereof, as well as the Constitution, as well as the Constitution, and laws of the state of Georgia, and laws of the state of Georgia, and of the United States of America, and of the United States of America. So help me God. So help me God. Okay. All right, fine. I'd call this meeting in order. <coughs> John, would you deliver the invocation, please? Dear Lord, please help guide us to make the right decisions, especially the city. Be with our EMS and our policemen and our firemen. Be with our city employees, especially through these uh, terrible conditions that we've had through the weather. Please be with everybody that we've got that's serving overseas. And please, please bear protect them. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And would you leave the pledge? <laughs>
He also <coughs> stated that the JMA wanted to close Main Street and needed the city to deliver and pick up the city stage. He also stated that he was asking the city to contribute additional an additional $1,260 to cover <coughs> paid off-duty officers for security for the event. He stated the sheriff had said that prison inmates would clean up the city <laughs> after the event. Council member Tony Fountain made a motion to honor the contract with the DJ and to contribute $1,260 to the JMA. Council member Jim Looney amended the motion to add that liability insurance be purchased by the JMA and the city be named as an insured party for the event. Council member Anson Navy seconded the amended motion following discussion. The motion passed unanimously. Item B under new business. May we recognize Joe Waffle with Point North Point North Insurance to discuss our upcoming liability and workers' compensation insurance renewals. Mr. Walker stated that the city's current liability insurance company, Glattfelter's annual premium decrease annual premium decreased two thousand dollars over twenty seventeen. Mr. Walker presented a comparison of Glattfelter to Travelers Insurance Company and based on the coverages that Glattfelter offered, he recommended that the city stay with its current carrier of Glattfelter. Mayor Weaver entertained a motion. Council Member Jim Lee made a motion that the city of Glattfelder for its liability insurance for 2018. Council Member Tony Fountain seconded the motion. Motion carried unanimously. Mr. Walker stated for workers' compensation insurance, the city would have an increase in 2018 due to the experience from claims. He stated that we could reduce our increase by adding a deductible. He stated that with zero deductible, annual cost would be 192277 1,000 deductible costs would be at 187128 and for 2,500 deductible costs would be 183241 He stated that he had a quote from travelers as well that they would not cover us for workers' compensation unless we packaged it with liability. <coughs> Council Member Anson Abbey made a motion to approve the quote with a 2,500 deductible. Council Member Tony Fountain seconded the motion. Discussion followed. Council Member Jim Looney asked to amend the motion to add the city implement a safety plan. Motion carried unanimously. Mr. Walker stated that the city would be required by law to offer cancer coverage to firefighters for 2018 at an annual cost of $3,924. Council Member Jim Looney made a motion that the city purchase the cancer insurance as required by House Bill 160. Council Member John Fowle seconded the motion. Motion carried unanimously. Item C under new business. Mayor Weaver recognized Sonny Proctor Oh, Sonny Underwood, Director of Planning and Zoning, to present to Council the 2018 Alcohol License Renewal Application. See list attached here too. Council Member Tony Fountain made a motion to approve the license renewal request, and Council Member Anson Navy seconded the motion. Motion carried by unanimous vote. <coughs> Item D under new business. Mr. Underwood presented an application for selling alcohol, beer and wine, by the drink from Anar Farzada for I Love New York Pizza of Jasper. LLC located at 50 Depot Street. Mr. Underwood stated that the background check had been received and there is nothing that would prevent him from obtaining, obtaining an alcohol license. Council Member Jim Lee made a motion to approve the continuance of the license <coughs> application. Council Member Tony Fountain seconded the motion. Motion carried by unanimous vote. Item E under new business. Mr. Underwood presented the Jasper Planning Commission report. Mr. Underwood stated that he was presenting a report for Robert Walker. Chairman of the Planning Commission, Mr. Underwood, stated that on November 16, 2017, the Planning Commission heard a request for the annexation of parcel 041-OU-4-104 of 24.06 acres to be annexed into the city limits. Mr. Underwood informed the Council that the Planning Commission had recommended to approve the annexation of this parcel owned by Amapola Electric Membership Corporation located at 544 Highway 515 South as C2 general commercial property. Mr. Underwood stated that the property owners had completed all required advertising, signage, and public notices. Council member Sonny Proctor made a motion to annex map <coughs> parcel number 041-OU-4-104 into the city limits. Council member Jim Laney seconded the motion. Motion carried unanimously. Item F under new business. Mayor Weaver stated that he had been <coughs> contacted by a gentleman who wanted to build a crematory on Noah Drive which is zoned as C2 property. Mayor Weaver stated that our ordinance had not been changed to allow a crematory as C2. Council Member Jim Lee made a motion to table this zoning change until more information could be obtained. Discussion followed. Council Member Anson seconded the motion. Motion carried unanimously. 
Economic Developer Jerry Netvital gave a report to the City Finance Director Lisa Hull gave a financial report for the month of November 2017. Lonnie Waters gave a report on roads. Chief Greg Lovell gave a report of police activities for the month of November 2017. Chief Steve Roper gave a report of the activities of fire activities for the month of November 2017. Council Member John Faust <coughs> gave a report of JYSA. Being no other business to come before Council, Council Member Tony Fountain made a motion to adjourn the meeting. Council is scheduled to come in next at the regular council meeting being held January 8th, 2018. Thank you. There's a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as read. Motion to approve the minutes as read. <coughs> motion to second. Discussion. Being done, I'll have a vote for show of hands. Thank you, Council. Catch me moving a little quickly tonight. Mr. Roper promised me if we didn't get home in time and watch the national championship, he was going to fake a heart attack. <laughs> and I wouldn't be sure if he's talking about being real. But that being said, uh, next item business organization meeting. Uh, at this time, I would like to ask the council to appoint one of their own as uh, the mayor pro tem. We have in the ordinances and charter that this is uh, biannually, but we have been uh, doing it annually, so I'd like to continue that. Maybe next year we'll let him serve two terms. Mm -hmm. We'd entertain a motion, or her, whichever the case may be. Um, I'll make a motion for uh, John Faust to for Mayor Pro Tem. A motion for John Faust to serve as Mayor Pro Tem. I'll second that. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, vote by show of hands. Two, three, four. Okay. John, congratulations. Two years in a row, Jim. <laughs> okay, uh, next item is the election of the city manager's position. And in the past, we've handed that to the mayor pro tem to run the meeting. So, Jim, if you will pass that down to John. Okay, we need to make a uh, make a uh, bid for city manager. Do I have any nominations? I I'm like Jim Looney. I'm sorry, son. Go ahead. Jim Looney. Do I have a second? Second. I make a motion to appoint uh, John Weaver to the manager. Okay, we have a motion for John Weaver and Jim Weaver. Let's do it by show of hands. Uh, since Jim was nominated first, nomination for Jim Weaver. Two. I see two. Yeah. Okay, nomination for Johnny Weaver. I see one. election or appointment of the city manager. I'd like to recognize Mr. Looney who would like to recognize this body to set his conditions of employment. Uh, during the uh, closed session I set conditions of employment uh, for me moving into the city manager's job. Um, I call for a, a uh, motion. That again. I'm asking for a motion from council to vote on my conditions that were discussed in the. I'd like to open those conditions to the public. Need to, need to itemize them. Yeah, we need to understand the public needs to understand what we're asking for. I need to write them down. How those conditions? Was... The salary was at eighty-four thousand dollars. It would be a uh, <coughs> position. Uh, 
until a <coughs> full time, excuse me, not full time, I would be full time, until a, um, another city manager could be obtained, giving the, giving the city time to set uh, job descriptions and um, uh, interview candidates. Um, there is a question on whether I could continue as uh, a city councilman. Uh, I think I would like to have an opinion uh, from, we have one from our, our city manager. I'd like to have a written opinion on that, whether it's from our city manager. City attorney, you mean? City attorney. Uh, I would anticipate this being a six to nine month period. Okay, let me make sure I've got it correct. You're asking for a contract? Because you're an employee, you would be an employee at will, just like Mr. Weaver is at the present time. It would still you, be an employee at will. I don't see that this is a contract. Your, your employment. Uh, could end tomorrow. I could be voted out tomorrow for our next regular scheduled meeting. So I don't know that. So the Bible is what you said, said about until it's such time and more than about a six and nine month period. That that has no meaning. In other words, you're asking for eighty four thousand dollars a year salary. Yes. Um, uh, to be become employed tonight. Based upon your election or appointment, and that would continue, and that salary would continue until at such time as you are no longer city manager. Yes. Also, that he would have to resign his position as council tonight. And I've already given that opinion that he would have to do that. Um, and I don't mind putting it in writing all over my letterhead, because that is my opinion. The other thing is, I do have uh, an obligation to uh, my current employer, the state of Georgia. Um, there needs to be a discussion on how uh, that two-week period would be uh, handled. tonight or you're agreeing to the job at some point in the future. Some point in the future being a two week notice from tomorrow when I could uh, give it. <coughs> so who would be the city manager within the two weeks? The city can't function two weeks well, without the uh, city manager. The city, the city uh, has a new has a city manager until at such time as that city manager um, position is filled, and it's not filled with Mr. Looney requesting not to come to work for two weeks. Mr. Proctor, you'd like to respond? Earlier, we talked about there not being a requirement to have a city manager. Now I'm hearing that there is a requirement that we have one. You didn't hear that from me. Explain, <clears throat> Bill. Uh, what I said was, is that Mr. Lundy is requesting uh, $84,000 a year to be paid to him as city manager during the time that he is, during the time that he is city manager for the city of Jasper. I understand that, right? And that's all. Could they not do that tonight with his resignation as council? They can do that. But we need a resignation, and then they can appoint you a city manager. But he can't, but he can't become, he cannot become, in my opinion, he cannot become a city manager <coughs> until it's such time as he does resign from the council. We also have the two week uh, interim uh, time that has to be dealt with. Well, they don't have to give you that period if they don't want to. 
Or they, or they can. Or they can. They do what? But my question is, if Jim's going to work a two-week notice mm -hmm. from now to two weeks from now, who's going to be our city manager? This city cannot function two weeks without a city manager. That's not my opinion. I mean, not, that's not my job is to hire and fire. I, I, I understand that I'm posing that question to the rest of my council members. I would suggest there had to be one appointed an interim uh, city manager. We won't say that he would do that. I'll do it. No, I mean, I'm asking that in that what he said. John, did you say you would do it? I would do it. So you're going if to you give me a resignation tonight. Uh, I will serve as city manager until you're appointed by the council. And in two weeks, we have a call meeting, and they can appoint you city manager. So you're going to finish out being a city manager for two weeks after this council and just sit here and vote well, you out. Well, I, I told you before we called the group in that the city comes first, and that'll be my intent. Um, would it be well tell to make it February first and keep it a clean, uh, clean period? Entertain a motion. Someone. Would you? State. Would you take the motion? The motion that we have you as city manager until February 1st and Jim becomes city manager. And, and upon his resignation this evening, so we're going to need to call for an election. Can't call for an election until it's Not tonight, but we're going to need, we're going to, need to we, as soon as we get the resignation, we can proceed. With, uh, uh, Do you need your own, I mean, does he need his own legal? Advice, or he, we have enough to go on. I mean, I'm just asking for the discussion that we well, talked about. If you're asking me that question, my job, as I explained to everybody earlier, right. I represent the city council of the city of Jasper. I do not represent each councilman individually. Or mayor. Or the mayor. <clears throat> Uh, we've got a motion that has to be voted on. Uh, can I, do I need to amend that uh, concerning resignation? Or do we vote on this one the way it is and have another motion? Give me the motion again, Ann. I made the motion that we have you as city manager until February 1st for him to be the city manager. Okay, to be replaced at that time. And, uh, Bill, touch on the re resignation again. We're, we're appointing one of our own as from council members, which clearly can't be. You can't man. appoint them. You can't. We're we'll appointing them in Jeff first meeting in uh, February. <coughs> no, because that decision may change. Well, you can give me a resignation anytime this month. Yeah, he can do that. And then in January, I mean, in February, we can have the meeting, and the council can appoint him as city manager. Do that. Okay. Take this wire, that right over here, and then you pull the lever. All right. Okay, that's that the motion. First meeting in February, uh, upon the resignation of Mr. Jim Looney, council member, council will be able to appoint him the city manager. Is that the motion? Give me, need, a, need a second. First. Need a second. Second. Got a motion to second. Any discussion? Being none, I'll favor of a show of hands. Three, four. All opposed. One against, one abstain. Okay, thank you, Council. Uh, that can, I apologize to our guests to see them. I uh, didn't think it would be quite this long. Uh, item C on your agenda, review and approval of <coughs> annual positions appointments. Uh, Council, if you bear with me, I'll just read through these. On the Planning and Zoning Board uh, Commission, we have Ms. Martha Poole, uh, whose term is up, and I would entertain a motion to approve her for another term. 
And I believe those terms are for four years or three? Three. Three years. Okay. We didn't have a motion. A motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Being all in favor, open your hands. Thank you, Council. That's unanimous. Next item, Mr. Jeff Dobbs, lives in Fox Run, has uh, agreed to serve as the uh, Planning and Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, would entertain a motion to pay no attention to that date there. Well, it would be that date. Uh, would entertain a motion to approve Mr. Jeff Dobson. I move. And a motion to approve. Second. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Being on favor, open show of hands. Thank you, Council. Was that unanimous? Uh, Downtown Development Authority of the City of Jasper, Mr. Marty Callahan and Chuck Payne uh, have been members for years. Their terms are up. We look forward to those guys being reappointed. So, Got a motion to approve. Be second. second. Got a motion and second. Discussion? Being done on favor, vote by show of hands. That is, do you vote John? Second. That's unanimous. The tree board, which is a continuation of the Downtown Development Authority, uh, we have Martha Poole and Chuck Payne to approve. Would it entertain a motion to approve those two? <coughs> so approved. Got a motion to approve. That was Jim. Need a second. second. Got a motion to second. Any discussion? Being done on favor of a show of hands. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the Housing Authority, Ms. Mary Perkins, term is up. Ms. Dobson, Ms. Ann Dobson, asked me if we'd be willing to reappoint her. I said I will make a recommendation to council. Would entertain a motion? So moved. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Got a motion to second. Any discussion? Being now in favor of a show of hands. Thank you, council. Uh, Pickens County Board of Health, uh, 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 Mary Gorley, da, 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 da. Uh, Council committees. Okay. Council committees. I've got finance. Jim Looney, John Fouts. Uh, person, uh, personnel committee. Ann Snavy, Dr. Proctor. Water committee. Tony Fountain. Uh, public safety. Uh, Dr. Sonny Proctor. Streets. Ann Snavy. Parks. John Fouts. Ann Snavy. JOISA liaison, John Faust. Black Committee, John Faust, Ann Snavy. Roper Parole Property, Jim Looney, Sonny Proctor. Would entertain a motion to approve those as presented? And a motion to approve. Second. And a motion to second. Any discussion? Being out on favor, with show of hands. Thank you, Council. Under old business, alcohol license application approval, uh, Mr. Underwood. We have New York pizza. I love so, New York pizza. I love New York pizza. Mayor, Council. Uh, this is the Mr. and R. Garfar Zada. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He is, he is in the process of completing his due diligence and his alcohol license. He's doing the, he has done the, the uh, everything in the paper and the sign out in front of his building stating what he's doing. So tonight we need to approve his license. You need to approve his license. Okay, this will be the final approval for you. He'll be able to buy the license after this. Entertain a motion. We approve. Got a motion to approve the New York, I love New York pizza. Second. Motion to second. Discussion? Be it on all favor of a show of hands. Thank you, Council. That's unanimous. <coughs> Crematory ordinance. Uh, council, uh, please, gentlemen, all of you, come up and introduce yourself to the Council. Yes. This is uh, this crematory. Mm -hmm. thing. This is about a, a funeral home and a I understand. Okay. I, and I 
happy that I just got trimmed on my left field and was flying. So if you want to sit right here, I give you some argument. No, I just that just <laughs> wanted me to make sure that. Okay, all that, that's what we're going to do tonight. <laughs> But introduce yourselves, please, sure. and tell us what's, uh, what your presentation is pertaining to the crematory slash funeral home. Uh, Mr. Mayor and Council, my name is Don Ware, Jr., my wife, Kimberly, um, one of our employees, uh, uh, Blaine Ross, and then, of course, uh, our broker for the property that we're purchasing, Richard Jordan, Jordan. and then we have uh, uh, Russell Powell from the back, and we have Tom... Uh, Clayton. Clayton, excuse me, who is a, a company representative of the crema crematory that we're looking to purchase from. And you have with you also a guest. Yes, uh, that would be uh, Mayor uh, Steve Miller, who is the mayor down at uh, Hodge Branch. Okay. Georgia. You will have a seat there. Right. You will make yourself comfortable. Council, if you recall, at the last council meeting, uh, we discussed this and I was concerned about it being in the ordinance of C2 and from that time until the workshop we did some research and we I presented, presented to the council all the documentation pertaining to funeral homes, uh, crematories slash C2, uh, commercial development, commercial property. Let's hear what you got. Well, our, our plans are to get a full-fledged funeral home and crematory on site. Um, so we assume the fact that we already have one funeral home here in the, in the city, uh, that being Ro Roper Funeral Home, that actually has a crematory on site, I understand. We assume that we can do the same. Uh, <coughs> we'd love to bring the business here. Uh, I'm originally from Pickens County, which is school here. I did not graduate, but went all the way up to the 10th grade. And then we, uh, my dad moved us to uh, Cherokee County. So. I'm not a stranger to the county. I'm 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 one of the, one of one of y'all, and, and I'm looking to bring the business back here, back home. Is where I'd really like to uh, uh, open the funeral home here. So the actual name of the funeral home is called In Their Honor, a funeral home or funeral and cremation care is the is the name that we are uh, we have right now on uh, as the being the name of the, of the funeral home. But it will be a 4,000 square foot, the plan is a 4,000 square foot uh, building, one level of course, it'll have a chapel, it'll have a prep room, it'll have uh, everything that the state requires <coughs> to meet the funeral home uh, requirements. And the per one of the main reasons we'd, we'd really like to have the crematory on site is because apparently what I've learned is over time is that the older funeral homes that are established throughout the state of Georgia now are having to have a location off-site somewhere away from um, their facilities now because of zoning requirements and so forth so if we could have that on on-site then when we take uh, a loved one into our care we're not transporting them to another county uh, or to another city to get that uh, that crem crem cremation completed for the family we'll actually have them in our in our own facility where they would they would not be leaving the county uh, so that, that's, I mean, that, in a nutshell, that's, that's, that's us. We're just wanting to open a, a funeral home here in the, in the city. We'd like, to, we'd like to keep it in the city, of course, uh, rather than out in the county. But, uh, Let me ask you, will you store cassocks there and, and bombing uh, as well? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're required by the state to have those items uh, on, on the grounds. Yes, sir. We will meet the state requirement, absolutely. Questions, Council? When we have an ordinance like this, Sonny, who, um, who ver is it their business license? Do we validate their licensing and <coughs> make sure they have all the specific things before we issue a license? Or not just this particular case, but in any case, how's that? How's that? Is that you that does that? Well, uh, Miss Williams probably will do that now because she does a uh, business license. Okay. But uh, if, if they needed somebody to check it out, yes, my office would. So there's a spe there's a list or something where you right. see that the, the state requires registration and or licensing, and, and we verify that before the license is issued. Oh, yes. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, let me ask you for that question. Uh, what responsibilities do you have to state agencies for your license? They would they would have to approve <clears throat> before we could open up for business. And you have to be a certified. Uh, Funeral director. funeral director in order to do embalming, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the state requires a, what they call the uh, funeral director that's in uh, full and continuous charge. Okay, so you don't have one of those required for the state. Absolutely. Okay. Any other questions? 
is the crematory something above and beyond that, or is that you know director or uh, license? As long as, as what I understand, sir, as long as the bit, the crematory is inside the same building, then then he's then it cut, it's covered. Is what I understand. But yeah, quite. typically it varies state to state, but typically there is a requirement by the state EPA. Um, Georgia does have that requirement, so there's an EPA requirement for the crematory, which is independent of the funeral home itself. Are any y'all funeral directors? <clears throat> Not so much. So you'd have to hire somebody. Yes, sir. We got we we have that thing here. Any other questions? What is the property? Where is the property? Uh, I understand it's right <coughs> ten on Noah Road. Um, it's right down from the that studio the studio that sits right there in, in the curb. Okay, zone C2. That's what I understand, yes ma'am. Any other questions? Entertain a motion. Well, we move on. Approving their request. Before it's built or... Well, we approve, we approve that they're going to do this. They're going to put this in there. They asked for us to to verify all the things that we've had. So I entertain a motion that they be allowed to move forward with, with the application. Well, we already had an ordinance that allowed that. Well, then I guess we had a good meeting tonight. <laughs> I would like the council to bless us because there was some conflict on uh, the definition of the, of the uh, uh, amendment to the chapter 494, article 1, section 94-2 something. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I had a question. Okay. I was just fixing to ask. That's in compliance with our government. Yes. Okay. If it's a full uh, a funeral home, a building used for human services, such building contains a chapel. You're going to contain a chapel. It will, sir. It may include space and facilities for embalming. Yes, sir. And the performance of other services used in the preparation of the dead for burial or cremation. Correct. Sir. The performance of autopsies. It would be a better really? way to do okay. yes, And other surgical procedures, the indoor storage of castings, yes, sir. funeral urns, yes, sir. and other related funeral supplies, and the indoor storage of funeral vehicles. Yes, sir. In addition, the actual cremation of the dead may occur within the building or necessary building. Yes, sir. So, do you care if we don't give you a motion or just move forward with your application? I just want y'all to be happy and good, like you that said. That may not like happen. Do you know you want to <laughs> <laughs> like you move forward with it? We, 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 we just want to come here and do business. Okay. And take care well, of our folks here. We'll accept the application tomorrow morning starting about 8 o'clock. All right. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with you. Oh, yeah, one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> Be careful, there might be an Alabama yeah, yeah. Roll time. Roll time. Roll time. Roll time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The vote's already been taken, or I'm not sure. <laughs> That's all I waited. We're not very local here. Nice to meet you, Mayor. Nice to meet you, Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council. Okay, item C, parole property, pool property. Mr. Lenny, you want to move forward with this on? Yeah, we have gotten a, uh, the inspection report that we discussed uh, at our prior meeting uh, has been uh, accomplished. There are uh, issues with validation that have been noted in the uh, uh, inspection. Uh, my attempt, uh, after direction from council at our work session is to, uh, within the next uh, 30 days, get the industrial authority who owns the property, the borough property, and uh, Roper, I guess, also, and also the little board that we put together, a commission that we put together uh, concerning use of that property, getting them together, and coming up with uh, ideas that council can look at. Anything else? Under new business, Liberty Lane Pump Station, Mr. Hall.
Uh, I have the sheets. Um, I give everybody a copy of the uh, The total on this bump is $39,431.40. This is on the budget amount, which was $40,000. Uh, we're going to go with the flight model for it stays with the same panel and stuff that is presently there with the other motor. Could you say the budget amount, please? $40,000. Yes. And this is the second motor that we had talked about buying in the next budget year. Uh, we bought one new one last year and a new uh, check route pit, which were installed, and this one will complete that station. Okay. Entertain a motion to approve. You give me the amount again. Thirty-nine thousand four hundred thirty-one dollars. Yeah, I get. I make a motion that we approve. Spend $39,431. Up to $40,000. It's in the budget. Add that to it, John. That's the $40,000. Just in case we have some extra tape. Second. Got a motion? Second. Discussion. Being done off everybody, show of hands. Thank you, Council. Return flood pump at the wastewater treatment plant. Yes. Uh, this will be a smaller motor uh, that's just at the wastewater plant that. All it does is return the sludge that goes to the car fires back to the basin. Uh, so it don't really have a lot of head on it or anything. So, so it's just a pretty old fire motor. Uh, in the budget was uh, $6,500. Uh, the bid come in a little bit lower on it, or the quote, uh, $4,454. How much is that? $4,400. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Approved. Approved the purchase. Got a motion to approve. So, motion to second. Any discussion? Being all favor, we show hands. Thank you, Dave. Item C. Alcohol license that were shorted before the last year. Yeah. So, you remember we had three that had not gotten their money in in time. In December. Mm -hmm. Since that time, all three have paid their money. Woodbridge as well? Beg your pardon? Woodbridge as well? Yes. Okay. And they have requested that their their license be uh, reviewed. Okay. All paid? Yes, sir. I have the checks right here. Okay. <coughs> Entertain a motion to approve Correa's Food Mart, Madeline's, and the Woodbridge Inn. Yes. So moved. A motion. Second. Motion to second. Discussion. Being that off, everybody. <coughs> That's unanimous. Thank you, Calvin. Okay. Item D. Uh, we're talking about Fred's. Yes. <coughs> Request for approval to continue alcohol yeah, license. Fred. Fred's has submitted a license and has started their advertising like they're supposed to. And we're asking that you. Continue their license for another month. We have, uh, in fact, I got back their uh, fingerprints today, so they're good there. Okay. All they need to do is, is comply with the signage and the license, or the advertising, for four weeks, and then they'll be ready to go. Entertain a motion. Make a motion for us to be allowed to continue <laughs> on with the uh, application process. Yes. Okay. And motion second. Discussion. Being an all-fair open show of hands. The council, that unanimous John, you vote. <coughs> Good to see you. Uh, annual audit firm request for approval. Approval, Miss Lisa. Um, in your packet, I put uh, a copy of the minutes from June 6, 2016, where uh, when Clay Pilgrim came to present that audit, uh, it's on the second page, uh, he promised to keep the price at $17,290 for the next three years. Uh, this was the <coughs> second of those years for 20 years. How did the council vote on that, please? Uh, they voted, uh, let's see. County Fountain made a motion to approve the continued use of Russian and Company for the city's 2016 audit at the price of 
290 with the option of two more years at the same price. Council member and Snady seconded the motion. Motion carried unanimously. Thank you, Council, that clears up the discussion we had at the workshop the other evening. Any questions you have on that? And behind those minutes, I have included a copy of the engagement letter, which is our contract with Rushton and Company. And then we need to approve signing that uh, letter. We need to find a motion to approve <coughs> signing the uh, contract. The engagement letter. That's what I said. <laughs> Did a lot. <coughs> Sorry, buddy. Got a motion? Second. Got a motion to second. Discussion? Getting all paper up with show of hands. Thank you, Council. Okay, Mayor's report, Economic Development, Jerry Nectar <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, I want to offer uh, just, just one, uh, one piece of information I'll be glad to answer any questions, and that is the uh, Jasper Merchants Association did want to be here this evening and give an update on the New Year's Festival. Uh, Kurt Redfield is planning on coming next month to give you an in-depth report. Uh, first of all, he does thank the mayor and council for their support on this. He felt like the event went well, felt like it was safe, and uh, people really enjoyed it. He estimated there's about, probably on average, about 350 people that came and went during the evening, ramped up towards midnight. Uh, he said the restaurants and everyone was very pleased with the attendance, and overall, uh, it turned out to be a very nice event for the community <coughs> in spite of the bitter cold. And again, he wanted to share that report with you and uh, said that he would be here next month to provide a more in-depth report. So unless there's any questions, because I know everybody's probably anxious to get to the television, uh, I'll, I'll conclude or answer any questions. That's all you have to report? Uh, I could go into more detail. I'd like to hear a little bit about what's going on in the economic development around the city of Jackson. Okay, very good. Uh, one of the items on the horizon is that the, uh, the independent film company that has been working on this project for quite some time will uh, start shooting probably next month. It is an independent company, so you really won't have big name stars, but it does give a good return to the community because they'll be here 30 to 45 days. They'll be spending money here, they'll be hiring people, and, uh, and that's where we'll get a good economic development, or excuse me, a good uh, economic return to the community. Uh, through the Chamber and Economic Development, there was also a 12 Days of Christmas in the South initiative uh, that was done in conjunction with our Tourism Committee and Downtown Merchants. The idea was to try to bring people into the community to spend money as well as keep people here shopping locally. Uh, the kickoff, there was a little bit of a damper on that because that took place during the snowstorm, so they didn't get the, the big kickoff that they had uh, wanted or anticipated. But the event was a, a overall a good success, and, uh, and I did think it achieved its goal with keeping. What day was that on? The uh, the kickoff. I can't remember the date, Mary. Back in November. When we had that snow, where it was summer, 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 yeah, summer, summer, early, summer. early December. Same night the council meeting wasn't. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't remember the same night. Was when we had the huh? when we had the, the unexpected snow, was supposed to be just a little smattering. Uh, December eight. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, it, yeah, all things considered, they were, they were pleased with that initiative. Uh, a couple of other things, you know, we've been working very closely with the railroad company. It was acquired by Patriot Rail. Uh, they have had a change in their personnel, so their local representative uh, is a new individual. I have not met with her yet. I plan to do that because although there has been some issue relating to the uh, property where I'd love to see an industrial park, Having the railroad on board and, uh, and working with us is a key uh, item of that, and I definitely will be, <coughs> excuse me, meeting with our as <coughs> I can. Let's uh, move my notes just to make sure that I'm not overlooking anything of, uh, of recent significance. <coughs> One other item, it's a little bit, it's a little early in the process, but we do have a, a group, it's a microbrewery that is looking at different locations within the community. One of the individuals in that group does reside here and has a strong desire to locate that business here. I will say during the holidays, I went up to Asheville, North Carolina, which in our area is probably one of the, um, they have probably more microbreweries and brew pubs than anywhere else in the southeast. 
and it is tremendous the uh, the draw that those locations provide. One of the things that will probably be coming forward to the city with the city council or to the city council <coughs> in the future is right now the city <coughs> ordinance related to breweries limits them to be within an industrial area. We will have a greater return if this location can be within a commercial zone, and uh, they do have a strong retail presence on these uh, type of establishments because of the changes at the state level. And so, if uh, if there was a way to construct an ordinance that would allow them to locate within a commercial district, thus putting them closer to other commercial locations within the community, I think that would give our community and our uh, existing businesses the greatest return. So that's something that probably I hope to come forward with uh, next month. And uh, <clears throat> let's say very quickly. I'm going to say that's the uh, that's the key items, Mayor, that I wrote down for this month. Again, I'll be glad to answer any other questions that you may have. That's the I'm just concerned, concerned if anything was coming from Jack, George, maybe Pickens County, uh, maybe something that will put people to work, like jobs. Uh, maybe we talk about it next month. Okay. Thank you. Oil financial report. On your packet, you have the financial report for the month of December 17 uh, for last for the month of, of December. We received 100,471 in uh, local option sales tax, which so that actually was for sales in November. So that was a pretty good month for us. A uh, year before the same month with 89,612. Um, we, all departments at this time are under budget, but we are um, starting our close out of the year and we'll be booking a lot of receivables <coughs> and uh, payables and these numbers will definitely change. Uh, Splos, we took in 78187 compared to 69737 last year at this time. Uh, cash balance at the end of the year is three hundred seventy-four thousand nine hundred forty dollars, um, and that's all I. What's that amount again? Cash balance three hundred seventy-four thousand nine hundred forty dollars plus plus cash balance at the end of the year. So that's all I had really to go over. Unless I have any questions. Questions, Cal? Rose, another report, line. Mayor and Council, uh, <clears throat> there have been questions about when we were going to resurface Main Street and the streets around town. Those are on the list for the first bid package that's just going to be going out for the spring resurfacing. There'll be approximately 14 road, uh, streets around Main Street and uh, part of North and South Main Street that have already been resurfaced. Uh, then once those are done in the next bid package, we need to start moving toward the four lane and getting access streets and everything up and down the four lane in order to have uh, finish out our payment system, resurfacing system. Uh, the only other thing I have is just the city crews did a fabulous job stopping leaks and working on busted water lines during this cold. If you have any questions. How's our signs going? I've got my first shipment of signs in. We're ready to start putting them up. The brackets, uh, they they're finally got here, so we've got brackets. And some of the larger ones, I mean like Philadelphia Road, those signs are about 12 inches wide, four feet long. Mm -hmm. So we've got to make sure that they're secure because they was down to 515. And we've ordered the largest signs first for 515. So the next order will be smaller signs. And so the cost per sign should be coming down also. So it says we gotta do it. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor Council. 
Yes, the police department for the month of December responded to 780 calls from the 911 center for a grand total in the year 2000 of 10,823, which would be the highest we ever reached. Responded to 51 motor vehicle accidents, 26 citations issued by the police department, five for speeding, one for shoplifting, one uninsured motors, 18 miscellaneous violations, one for suspended on the road. Georgia State Patrol issued a total of 89 citations for a grand total of city court 115. 44 state warrants were taken, 35 counts of theft by taking Mr. Mayor, theft by taking <coughs> felony, felony obstruction, one DUI, fleeing, attempting to elude officers, one reckless driving, one driving while suspended, one failure to maintain lane, one shoplifting, one battery. Miscellaneous calls responding to 38 alarm calls, 18 disorderly, 24 harassment. One trespassing or ordering 78 uh, suspicious activity reports and 13 domestics and investigated no burglaries. Questions, Council? Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm. You may head home. Chief Rock, I'm not surprised. Good evening, Mayor. I'm Mayor of Chesapeake and this is Cody Brady. I'm here from Mount Mountain. For the month of December, the city's fire department responded to 110 emergencies. Those were no structure fires inside the city, one outside the city limits. No vehicle fires in or out, no grass fires in or out. Ten motor vehicle accidents with injuries inside the city, none outside. 50 emergency medical responses inside the city, 28 outside. Ten other calls in, 11 out. As always, it's anything that's not listed above. Uh, as of the end of the year, it was 1,464 calls for the year of total. Fire inspection looked at the plans for construction and conducted 15 inspections. Thank you, Chief. Questions? Good month. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Faust, do you have anything to offer? How the wrestling's going, watch the paper for baseball. Kids are going strong. Been no other business. <laughs>